Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Danny from Vivid Collectibles. I'm here at uh, New York Comic Con at the PCS booth. I'm gonna do a quick tour, and just to let you know a little bit about each piece that I see. So this is the brand new Michelangelo, still not out for pre-order. Uh, I think you guys are gonna be really, really happy with this one. These are one-third scale, but they're room conscious, so they don't take up a ton of space, but this thing looks absolutely amazing. I love the uh, motion captured by these uh, nunchucks. Very cool effect. It's not new. I've seen it before, but it looks absolutely stunning. I've never seen these in person. Here's Leonardo looking absolutely amazing. Look at the paintwork, the detail on the nails, the bandages. These are outstanding. What a beautiful line. Makes me wish I started collecting these. Look at, wow, Shredder is impressive in person. Not only is he big, the details are just next level. Wow. This just went up for pre-order. Very cool. Well, PCS really stepped up their game and they're next level now. They have been for a little while. Donatello. Wow. These are just absolutely stunning. I wish I'd started collecting these because they are truly special. All right. More here. This is Raphael. Again, some, some of that great detail again. I love how they really capture the essence of each brother. I mean, the work that went into these is second to none. PCS ain't messing around. Just not messing around. All right, we have some of the game stuff here. Very cool from Killer Instinct. This is the Saber Wolf, the white version. These are quarter scale pieces. Highly detailed, beautiful statues. We got Psycho, quarter scale piece. These are much better in person than I thought. He looks great, maybe a little bit on the dark side, but the details are there and the actor likeness is there as well. Ghost face, been out for a little while, quarter scale piece. Really nice blood effect. I like the different masks that go on the base. This is mixed media, looking really, really good. Wow, PC is doing work. Wow, this is the one third version of Pro. This is all fully sculpted, no mixed media here. Yep, fully sculpted. Very, very nice. Maybe the portrait could use a little work, but it looks good. Throw in the shoulder. Very nice. Like the window, paint in the backdrop. Very, very cool. We go around. We got Fulgor from Killer Instinct. Pretty cool. Very nicely done. All right, excuse the commotion. This is the uh, brand new reveal. Transformers Optimum Prime Museum Scale. Holy cow. This thing is crazy. Look at the paintwork on this too. Not only are the details there, the paint's outstanding. Holy cow, Jetpack Optimus Prime. This thing is monster. Really, really cool. Yeah, PCIS ain't messing around. They brought out the big guns. This thing is outstanding. Let me pan around it. See some of the uh, smaller, like cell shaded transformers. We'll go around the back. Wow, look at the jetpacks. See uh, just a level of detail and craftsmanship that went into this. It's really uh, amazing. Wow. There's more to look at here. So we have the quarter scale Lady Death. So this is the deluxe version that comes with the throne and all these little dragons. This looks really good in person. I've seen pictures of it. And it wasn't really for me, but seeing it in person, as usual, is a very different thing. And it does have a lot of great detail. Very, very nice. And the half scale Michael Myers. 
It does look awesome in person. This is crazy, right? I was uh, having reservations getting that, but now I see it. Now you want to make a reservation? Yeah, I want it. <laughs> yeah, this thing is crazy. Yeah, the pumpkins on the base look really good. The mixed media looks really good. The knife looks good. Wow, it's enormous. It looks amazing. And we've seen this before, the one-third Wolverine from the Gamerverse. Looks really good. Very big for Wolverine. Obviously, it's one-third. Raging Portrait looks really good. The claws look good. Yeah, very nice piece. Been out for a little while, but it looks good. And my first time seeing this blade in person. One third scale blade fighting these demons. This thing is crazy good. Great details. Wow. These creatures, the detail is unbelievable. The eyes are great. And blade himself. It's great action pose. Yeah, the, the, the details on this are next level. I mean, PCS is doing some really amazing work. This year, Wesley Snipe look-alike. Looks really good. Skin tones are there. Details, action pose. Yeah, they're not playing around. They're not playing around. Great job by PCS. And this is their Star Wars Darth Maul one-third. Light up base. That's so cool. Tells a story. I like that it's simple. It's not complicated, but it looks really good. And all your light-up features. Wow, this is special. Really, really good. Fully sculpted, no mixed media here. Looks like the saber lights up, the dual saber. Very nice. Really great portrait as well. And then I believe this is the uh, swap out. And wow, this looks really, really good. If you have this on order, you're going to be very, very happy. Just the back of this blade. Look at the coat. Very leather-like texture. Absolutely amazing. Alright, I'm going to show you something special project they're working on. These are highly limited pieces. It looks like they're wall-mounted. I don't know much about these. I just know they're individually sculpted. And I think they're only making 50 worldwide. And they come as a set. I don't know the details of it yet. But this is going to be... This is like something you wouldn't see anybody else doing it's very unique really really well done absolutely amazing yeah it's crazy good anyways that was a quick tour of the uh, PCS tour here in New York City Comic Con I'm Danny from Vivid Collectibles I hope you enjoyed the quick tour and if you have any of these or any of these on order I guarantee you you're not going to be disappointed thank you